Hello, I'm Andrew Johnston, a men's rights activist. This short video will explain the importance of prostate cancer screening. Prostate cancer is one of the most common cancers in men, and most men with prostate cancer show no symptoms that the cancer is present. The main way to find it is with a screening program. You've all no doubt heard of screening programs for women, cervical smears and breast cancer screening. Have you ever heard of a prostate cancer screening program for men? That's what I thought. However, prostate cancer is a bigger killer of men than breast cancer is of women. Screening for prostate cancer is done with a blood test called a PSA test. PSA stands for prostate specific antigen, which is a protein made by the prostate gland. PSA testing is often overlooked because other things going on in the prostate can cause a high PSA level, such as infection or enlargement of the prostate, which give a false positive result. Also, some cancers don't show up on the test, giving a false negative result. However, that doesn't mean we should discard PSA testing and throw it out, which all too often it is. Men are regularly discouraged from taking the test for what I believe are resourcing problems. What we should do is be smarter about PSA testing, namely to use the test on men at higher risk. These include men over the age of 50, Men of Afro-Caribbean origin are at a higher risk still and should test even younger. And also men with a family history of prostate cancer, like a brother or father. Take the test yearly and I'll show you how it works. I expect most, if not all of you, have seen one of these, a COVID test kit. Well, this is a PSA test kit available on Amazon and is very similar. It is an antigen test after all. However, the PSA test requires a, a sample of blood rather than a swab from inside the nose and or mouth. You can get these for around £20, link provided. This particular one is a simple test, telling you if your antigen level is high or low as opposed to a specific reading. Specific tests can also be purchased on Amazon, but needless to say, cost more. I'm now going to perform the test and show you the results. Well, as you can see, there was a pink control line under the letter C, which shows the result is valid. And in my case here, no second line under the letter T, which shows the test is negative, which I'm delighted about. Had the second line been present, then my next stop would have been the doctor for a further test. Now, in summary, 25 years ago, one in five men diagnosed with prostate cancer had advanced disease. Today, that's one in 25 and that is due to PSA testing and finding cancers at an early stage. So it's well worth doing and I encourage you to do so. Thank you for watching.